once he stepped across that line, he was as great a competitor as any pitcher that I've uh, uh, faced or played with. When my rabbit Alice died, that was the saddest thing. When she was young, she was free, and then she was put into a cage. And we came home, and Diana saw this rabbit that was in a cage, and fur was all matted. We let that rabbit out. We let him live on the grass for three months. That was the happiest rabbit. He looked at me. He was so happy and everything. Finally, a dog followed us home one day, right? And that dog came behind, and Alice saw that dog and took off and ran right into a fence. Boom, broke its back. Only had its front paws. We let it live on that grass, and it ate, but it dragged it around. Finally, the paralysis set in and it started gnawing on the inside of its legs. So what did I do? I walked up to Alice one day, came up behind her, and just blew her brains out. Cried my eyes out and buried that rabbit, and Alice doesn't live here anymore. But you gotta be able to do that. You got a wounded animal, you gotta be able to put it out of its misery. And I'm good for that. Because if I couldn't pitch, I'd be a hell of an undertaker.